Welcome back everybody. In this video I'll be doing a short tutorial on how we can add a fast travel system into our game. The way I think I'm going to do this is by having an interactable uh, actor and then it triggering a menu that we get to choose where we where we go. So first things first we're going to add an actor. I'll just put it next to the player spawn. We can choose a, a, uh, a sprite for it. Obviously we probably want to sign. And then we'll call the actor fast travel. And uh, what we want to do is basically just have a menu. So you want to display a menu. And it can use anything, so we'll keep it onto the locals. We're not uh, filling up the um, you know the the global variables. Uh, and we can have as many options as we want, and I'm just gonna put free. So, uh, and here we just can type in uh, like where we want to fast travel to. So we could say we could want to tr fast travel to this up here. So let's call this cliff. We could fast travel to the house. So we can say flower shop. Uh, and we can also fast travel to, let's say, the cave up here. Okay, so you see this here, it says set to zero if B is pressed, meaning that if the player wants to, they can press B instead of choosing an option to cancel the um, the interaction. So what we're going to do is we're going to have some text. Uh, we're going to display dialogue. And we're just going to ask them, where would you like to fast travel to? And then the display menu will come up and it will ask them, it was, you, they can choose the cliff, the flower shop, or the cave. Uh, and obviously because we're in version 2.5, we can only have six, um, like, uh, six characters of the text, which is kind of annoying. I'm using, in Tiger Racing 2, I'm using um, an older version so that I can have a uh, huge... Um, menus and I'm sure they'll fix this in the version 3 uh, but yeah so let's move on so once they've picked between those three we can add a switch and the switch is simple we can just use this in these three options one two and three when it's zero then nothing happens so we can disable the else um, and this will mean that the text will go away so on one we want to fast travel to the cliff so all this is, is change scene. And if you're new to GB Studio, this is a very important thing for uh, making your games because it's uh, it's how you move between levels, it's how you progress through the game, um, and it's how you move around, even with um, even as simple as this. So you may be thinking, if you're a more experienced developer, this isn't what you'd want to do because uh, it will reset everything in the scene, which is a choice you would you actually have you would want to make is do you want to reset everything in the scene? Because if you do, then this is how you do it. You change scene and you change it to the same scene, and you just get to choose the location. So I've chosen up here. So if I choose the characters facing down, then they'll face down when they come. Um, we can even slow down the, the fade speed. Uh, and what we or what we w might want to do is ask ourselves, uh, do we want to just set the player position? So if we just set position um, of the player to the same spot as where we want to go up there, then we can, this, what this will do is just instantly move us from where we are to that spot up here without changing anything in the scene. Uh, and this is teleporting, obviously. Uh, but if we were going to make it so this script here can work through different scenes, then what I'd want to do is on the scene initiate uh, is have a math function and just who we need a global variable and we just need it to say um, current map. We set it to one. So we set to a value of one. And what this will do is mean that this scene is now tagged as map one 
And if we, on every other scene we go into, we set a different current map value, then when we're using this, um, this sign here, we can ask ourselves if value, if variable compared with value. So what we want to do is say if current map is equal to one, then we want to, we just want to teleport. Otherwise, we want to change the whole scene because we'll be moving from a different scene into this combat scene here. Um, and what this will mean is uh, we can copy this little guy here, this, this signpost, into all the other levels and we don't have to worry about changing it to uh, be the correct one. Uh, obviously, this does add a global variable. It does add a switch uh, and an, an if statement. So you could deliberately... Um, engineer it so that you uh, every sign in each different place is different but um, this is how I'm going to do it for this video. So what I'm going to do is just copy that there and now this one will be the flower shop so what we want to do is just bring this down here. This might not be the right one. Okay so what I'm going to do is just take this and increase this value here to make it move down so that we can actually see where it goes. And we see here 45, 49. So we want to write 45, 49 here. Uh, and it's still checking for the current map. And if we go into this one here, then we then want it to go to the cave, if I remember correctly. So let's just move this one quick. And then put up here to the cave. So it's 2410. We just have to type it in here as well. 2410. And now we should have, when we interact with this uh, sign here, we should be able to fast travel. So let's just load that up and see what happens. Okay, so we click on it. Where would you like to fast travel to? Uh, we, let's try the cliff first. And now we've just we just teleported to the cliff. So I think the the map is still the same, so let's first of all let's kill all the cats. I know that sounds horrible, but let's just remove the cats from the scene so that we can see if it is the same map or not. Uh, and we interact. Where would you like to fast travel to? Let's say the flower shop. And if we go past, there shouldn't be any cats because we've already removed them. And then if we go to the cave, then there's still oh. Did we kill this cat before? That's the question. Let's go down here and find out. No, we didn't kill that cat before. So yeah, so now we have a system that this sign, we can copy and paste it through the scenes, through different scenes, and we'll, and we'll be able to uh, keep that same script. Obviously, the more um, options we add here, then we can have instead, if they press, you know, if the fourth thing is to uh, just say, you know, like plus more. And then if they press four, then it moves on to the next one. Uh, and we can have a switch here to say if zero, then um, then it stops the script. And it's that simple to, to create a, a long list of lists, basically. Uh, and you just have to remember that each of these scripts or events carries out uh, one after the other. So if you keep that in mind, then having a stop script will stop it. Um, and if you don't stop it, then it will continue going down and down and down. And obviously, if if it goes past an if statement, then it goes past it. If it goes past a switch, then it goes past. Uh, and it's, it's quite simple. So I hope some of you new developers were, will have picked up some tricks from this. Um, I hope some old developers might have just enjoyed the video. And uh, thanks for watching. I will be uploading the files for this to my Patreon. Um, as the weeks go on, I want to start making some artwork for this, uh, you know, tutorial series and uh, start making a unique experience. And I'll share that with the Patreon, with the patrons over at Patreon. And uh, thanks again for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, like this video if you like this video. Leave a comment of what you want to see next. I'm slowly rolling out of ideas for, um, for this. So like I said, I want to you know develop this into a game with you guys. I also have um, some 
some hardware that I want to show you guys. Uh, I might do that next week, but I, uh, I'm i focusing a lot on Ticket Racing 2 and of um, the game with the Retro Room, which uh, is still a secret. So uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.